From feathered dinosaurs with sprawling wingspans to dinosaurs with razor-sharp shark teeth. And from rare toothless dinosaurs that have never been found before to the super-long Supersaurus. We have a list of archaeological discoveries from around the world that shocked dinosaur paleontologists. Dinosaurs are fascinating and magnificent in every way you can describe, and dinosaur paleontologists know better than anyone about these magnificent beasts. But even the experts have been shocked by some of these discoveries, and in our video today, we'd show you 10 of them that captured our attention the most. So sit tight. Number 10. Deinonychus In the 1960s, a paleontology professor from Yale University named John Ostrom was investigating Montana for dinosaur fossils. What he discovered radically altered our knowledge of dinosaurs, their biology, and their behavior. Ostrom uncovered the strewn bones of a medium-sized predatory dinosaur, Deinonychus antiropus, meaning terrible claw with a counterweight. He realized this creature was a fast-moving, extremely clever, and keen-sighted predator. He also demonstrated that its morphology was very similar to that of birds, implying that birds and tiny predatory dinosaurs were so similar that birds most likely evolved from them. Even though they reflected Thomas Huxley's early theories from the 1860s, they were very contentious opinions at the time. They also raised important scientific questions. If birds and dinosaurs of this sort are related, may certain dinosaurs have been more like birds in terms of biology? For decades, the dispute raged. What do you think of this theory? Let us know in the comments below. Number 9. Cynoceropteryx In 1996, a remarkable find was made in Liaoning, China. It was a nearly complete skeleton of a tiny predator. It was a nearly complete skeleton of a tiny predatory dinosaur. It was briefly described in 1998 and named Cynoceropteryx prima, the first Chinese reptile wing. The remarkable fossil preservation conditions associated with these rocks in Liaoning appear to preserve part of the original animal's bodily tissues. The fringe of tissue around the body, which resembled fur, was the most remarkable feature. It was implied that it possessed an epidermal coating, maybe as an insulating layer. What do you think of the Cynoceropteryx and its relation to Ostom's theory? Number 8. Diplodocus During the second half of the 19th century, Andrew Carnegie was a vastly rich entrepreneur centered in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. After amassing his riches, Carnegie began to spend it philanthropically. When he learned about the discovery of remarkable dinosaur bones in the American Midwest, he decided he needed one for his new museum, the Carnegie Museum in Pittsburgh. As a result, he funded trips to northern Wyoming and southern Utah in search of additional dinosaurs. And they did locate them, including a nearly complete skeleton of the largest dinosaur yet uncovered. The skeleton was given the name Diplodocus carnegie, which means Carnegie's double beam. The entire animal was almost 25 meters long and dwarfed everything discovered up to that point in size and completeness. Number 7. Archaeopteryx When Charles Darwin released On the Origin of Species in 1859, he severely shook the established Victorian world and galvanized scientific interest in evolution. His work lay forth the arguments for thinking that organic life had altered or developed throughout geological time with masterful circumspection. Unbelievably, a fossil was unearthed in a quarry in southern Germany exactly one year after the publication of Origin. This fossil was part of the crow-sized, beautifully boned skeleton of a species dubbed Archaeopteryx lithographica, ancient wing on writing stone, by Richard Owen. The fossil was remarkable because there were feather impressions around the bones, which of course implied that this was a bird. But there were also clear traces of teeth. No bird has teeth. Hands with three well-developed claw fingers, and its tail was a long string of small bones from which radiated a fan of feathers. This creature was the missing link that connected live birds with feathers to a group of scaly reptiles with fangs in their mouths, clawed fingers, and long bone tails. This was the first ever dinosaur found to possess feathers. How cool is that? 
Number 6. Supersaurus Now that experts have corrected a fossil mix-up and evaluated fresh bones recovered from long-necked dinosaurs' last resting place, the gold medal for the world's longest dinosaur may belong to the aptly titled Supersaurus. Supersaurus, like other extremely long dinosaurs, is a diplodocid, a long-necked sauropod with a whip-like tail that extended for days. Supersaurus had long been thought to be one of the biggest dinosaurs. Curtis's recent research discovered that when Supersaurus was alive roughly 150 million years ago during the Jurassic period, it might have stretched 137 feet from snout to tail. This is one super long dinosaur. Can you think of any other that might compete with it in length? Let us know in the comments. Number 5. The Toothless Dinosaur Because of the hundreds of fossilized pterosaur bones discovered in the Old Basin in the southern Brazilian state of Paraná, it is now known as the Pterosaur Cemetery. So when paleontologists working there discovered a new fossil species with a horny, parrot-like beak, they initially thought it was another flying reptile. Instead, researchers were astounded to discover a completely new kind of toothless dinosaur. Even weirder, the animal is a member of a group known as Ceratosaurians, practically all of which were carnivores. Quote, the fact that we now have this toothless dinosaur implies that we have to reassess the evolutionary loss of teeth for all dinosaurs in this group, says Alexander Kellner, director of the National Museum of Brazil and a paleontologist on the team that discovered the fossil. The fossilized skeleton, disclosed in the journal Scientific Reports, belongs to a new species called Berthosaura leopoldina, which existed during the Cretaceous era between 80 million and 70 million years ago. The official name pays homage to Bertha Lutz, a prominent Brazilian scientist who advocated for women's suffrage, and Maria Leopoldina, an Austrian who became Empress of Brazil. The Berthosaura could change the way we assess the age of dinosaurs. Fascinating, right? Number 4. The Shark Tooth Dinosaur According to the examination of a jawbone, a massive apex predator, a meat-eating dinosaur with serrated shark-like teeth, traveled what is now Uzbekistan some 90 million years ago. The beast was 26 feet long and weighed 2,200 pounds, making it longer than an African elephant and heavier than a bison. Ulubegsaurus uzbekistanensis was named after Uluk Beg, a 15th century astronomer and mathematician. The dinosaur was far larger and twice the length, and more than five times heavier than its ecosystem's previously known top predator, a tyrannosaur, which surprised experts. The jawbone fragment was discovered in Uzbekistan's Kizilkum Desert in the 1980s, and it was rediscovered in 2019 in an Uzbekistan museum collection. The fragmentary jawbone of Uzbekistanensis indicates that the animal was a Carcharodontosaurus, also known as a shark-toothed dinosaur. Tyrannosaurus rex, the most renowned of the tyrannosaurs, was a relative and rival of these carnivores. Carcharodontosaurus was often bigger than Tyrannosaurus, reaching weights of more than 13,200 pounds. The Carcharodontosaurus then vanished approximately 90 million to 80 million years ago, and Tyrannosaurus expanded in size, eventually taking over as apex predators in Asia and North America. It must be terrifying to see a dinosaur. Now imagine being hunted by one with shark teeth. Number 3. Pinocchio Rex A new tyrannosaur is known as Pinocchio Rex. It's been discovered in China, according to a recent study. The finding settles a long-running argument by confirming that long-snouted tyrannosaurs formerly inhabited the Earth. The newest dinosaur, Chansosaurus sinensis, featured a thin, long nose studded with small horns a far cry from Tyrannosaurus rex's short, muscular snout. The dinosaur was smaller and possibly sprightlier than the 42-foot-long or 13-meter T-Rex, measuring around 29 feet or 9 meters long and weighing 1,800 pounds or 800 kilograms. According to research published in the journal Nature Communications, the two organisms coexisted around 66 million years ago during the late Cretaceous era, right before the dinosaurs died out. 
the virtually complete one in a million Chunzosaurus skeleton was discovered at a building site in Genzhou, a rapidly expanding southern metropolis rich in fossils. In fact, the Tyrannosaur's initial name is derived from Chinzhou, Ganzhou's old name. The fossil was so well preserved because the animal was covered with earth shortly after it died, protecting it from erosive water and air for millennia. Number 2. Dinosaurs Suffered From Cancer Dinosaurs are frequently praised for their size, ferocity, and toughness. However, they suffered from many of the same accidents and diseases that people endure. Scientists from the Royal Ontario Museum and McMaster University in Canada claim to have discovered malignant bone cancer in a dinosaur for the first time. The prognosis? A severe bone cancer called osteosarcoma was discovered in the fibula, or lower leg bone, of a Centrosaurus apertus, a plant-eating, single-horned dinosaur that lived 76 to 77 million years ago. This study sheds fresh light on other illnesses that may have evolved in dinosaurs, as well as other elements of dinosaur life. The fibula was significantly deformed, but experts originally thought it was just a mending shattered bone with a strange shape caused by a fracture callus. Despite the fact that the diagnosis is new, the bone itself was identified in 1989. Number 1. Blade-Tailed Dinosaur More than 72 million years ago, a powerful, small dinosaur with a strange tail weapon, a mass of fused bone like a jagged cricket bat, resided in the river deltas of the Chilean Patagonia. The fossil skeleton belonged to Stegaros elengasen, a new species of small, armored dinosaur. In Patagonian Aunikenk mythology, the monster is known for its curiously shingled roof tail and as an armored beast. Stegaros's skull Jaws and club-like tail are ankylosaur-like, resembling Ankylosaurus and other late armored dinosaurs. Stegaros also spans a substantial evolutionary gap. Few armored dinosaurs have been identified in the former countries of Gondwana, an ancient supercontinent that began to fragment during the dinosaur epoch. Prior to Stegaros, only two armored dinosaurs have been unearthed in what was then southern Gondwana, and neither was as complete as the newly described beast. Do you think there were dinosaur fight clubs? <laughs> Tell us what you think in the comments below. And if you like this video, you might also enjoy this video on the most amazing fossil discoveries ever found in America.